Looking at these four problems. Number one, what did you see we could do in the numerator? Yep. Factor GCF, which is what? Three. So when you take, and this is the piece that people are forgetting how to do, and you divide your GCF out, six divided by three is two, and you have an A. Nine divided by three is three. I can't do anything in the denominator. It looks like I can't do anything, but I can. Can anyone remember what you're going to do with these? Caleb? Yeah, simplify 3 over 12 in your calculator. Yeah, the 2a plus 3 on top. And when you do 3 over 12, you get 1 fourth. Another way to write it is 2a plus 3 over 4. You don't need the 1 on top. Okay. Number two, I taught you to split it up. Four over twenty eight in your calculator gives you one seventh. Three minus four gives you negative one. Negative exponent, so it goes to the bottom. Okay, let's look back at number one for a minute. Notice how there's no variable in the denominator. There's no restrictions, because there's no variable. Here we have a restriction, because there's a variable in the denominator. What can x not equal. So set your 7x equals 0. Divide by 7. What can x not equal? What's 0 divided by 7? Zero. 0. Guys, I have to tell you, this is what I'm going to end up starting to do. Less and less of you are starting to, are willing to participate. I think I'm just going to get popsicle sticks, put all your names on them, and just start drawing them. I mean, I figured that's something to do in elementary school, but you guys did excellent, and now all of a sudden you're like, Bleh, not answering. So you need to stay focused. What? Is it emergency? Because you're supposed to go at the beginning. <laughs> And you're not going wandering. Okay. Okay, three. Three. What are we going to do? Kelsey? Three X is the GCF in the numerator. When you divide it out, Three divided by three is one. Two minus one is x. Nine divided by three is three. One minus one goes away. Remember you have to do your restrictions before you simplify. So what am I setting equal to zero here? Ron? Yep. So the opposite of subtracting three is what, everyone? Let's go back up to the problem. What can I cancel out? The x minus three. So I'm left with three x. X cannot equal three. And four.
Is there a GCF? No. Is it two or three terms? Three. So we gotta find factors of 12 that add up to seven. Go ahead, Adrian. Four, four, and four and three. In the denominator, is there a GCF? No. Okay. Two or three terms. Three. Factors of eight that add up to six. Two and four. Before you simplify, what are we setting equal to zero? Okay. The m plus two and the m plus four. Remember, you do the denominator. Subtract two. M equals negative two. Subtract four. M equals negative four. Okay. Cancel out what's in common. You'll have m plus 3 over m plus 2. m does not equal negative 2 or negative 4. Okay. Questions? All right, let's go to 17. On 17 and 18 are a whole bunch of problems that you're going to start working on. Okay? I will tell you, and this is an incentive, the odds are going to be what's required to have done tomorrow. If you get it all done, you get extra points. Okay, so the odds of the minimum, and that's your like classwork homework, if you want extra points, you can do it all. I've seen that it's all factoring they're struggling. Yeah, I don't know if it was a day, just a weird day. I don't know. Okay, so this is your time that if you're struggling on this concept, you've got two of us. Now, I do have a meeting at 1030, but it shouldn't be that long. Um, but you've got two of us to ask questions of. Get that extra help. The reason why I did this, this was actually tomorrow's lesson. I flip-flopped them because today we have a longer class because tomorrow is early dismissal schedule. So we have a longer class today, so it gave you more time to get that help you need. Okay? Questions? Okay, so I'm going to let you work. And whenever you need help, just come up to one of us.